Hey VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am back to post a quick video here. I'm going to do a response to a thread that Gary over at Physical Format Rock and Roll, a really cool thread that he just put up. Um, if for some reason you do not know Gary, that's why I put that link right down below. Get over there, check out his channel, subscribe to his channel. Uh, just, just one of those really cool laid back kind of guys that's just you know, you just, you just like being around. It's just like it, it's comfortable, it's smooth, it's like it's just a, a very, very cool, chill dude. Um, so, yeah, get over there and check out his channel, subscribe to his channel, and jump on board his thread here, which is um, basically five overplayed songs uh, that, you know, stuff that's been just totally played out on the radio or played out in movies, TV, whatever the case may be. Like, it's just been around a lot and it's just been played a lot but you still just have like such a fire for it. Like it's still just something that totally moves you like the day it came out kind of thing. So uh, there's a ton of those for me, of course. Um, and uh, JC over the flip side did a response to this the other day and he actually picked a couple of things that I probably would have put in mind. So I'm kind of skipping over those because he's already touched on them. And uh, Gary kind of the exact same thing. So I ended up narrowing it down to seven. So we'll just say two as honorable mentions or whatever. I just couldn't figure out which ones to put back. And I figured why not show them since I pulled them out. So uh, we'll start here with Kiss. And this is, of course, Love Gun. And it's the song Love Gun. You know, so when, when, when you look at stuff like, uh, you know, like I want to rock and roll all night and Love Gun and all that type of stuff. You know, a lot of those songs that were just, you know, I was made for loving you huge, huge Kiss songs that have just been played to no end over the past what, three, four decades or whatever the case may be, five decades. Um, but the song Love Gun is still one that every time I hear that I'm just like, I'm like right back to the first time that I heard it. I absolutely love that song and it never loses its muster. And I think the thing I, I love about it the most is when, when you get to like the Love Gun chorus, it's like that three or four piece harmony, especially the, whatever the high pitch one is. I, I, I don't know my terminology there or whatever, but like that piece of the chorus just makes, just gets me freaking fired up to no end. And I love singing that high piece of the chorus. And, uh, and now every time I hear it, since the first time I saw Kiss, you know, I remember, um, you know, when they did Love Gun, there was the little stage out in kind of in the crowd. And, you know, Paul got on the little zip line thing and came out. And he was like, you know, right there in front of me. And they performed Love Gun when he was on that stage. And just seeing Paul do his little, you know, his two-step thing that he's been doing for the past 30 years. And just hearing the Love Gun. Like, I can't even hear that song now without being right back in that moment. So, has not lost his muster at all. Another one I'm going to say is kind of an honorable mention. Because I don't know how big this song got actually but uh this is bad company off their album straight shooter and it's the song uh shooting star uh, i don't remember how big a hit that was or how much radio play it got and all of that i mean i know it was fairly decent but um yeah every time i hear that song when I mean, you talk about just getting sucked into the feeling of like how pure of a rock song is that you know, just like d down to the acoustic guitar, the storytelling. It's just like there's just something so powerful about that song that it moves me every time I hear it. And I think this came out in 1979. So, I mean, it's been around for a long time. But a uh, Shooting Star is definitely one that I have to at least mention. All right, so these five are definitely, definitely on the list. And I'm going to start with this one, actually moving to the bottom of the pile. The Cure. Of course, this is their album, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. And I got to go with the song, Just Like Heaven. I mean, that look, I, I'm actually feeling chills right now just saying it and like thinking about the intro to it. Like I can feel the chills running through my body. Uh, that This arguably, to me, Just Like Heaven, is I think the best pop song ever written. Um, like the way that thing kicks in and takes off with that bass guitar and then the way like each instrument comes in and layers on top of it. And then it just goes into this magical, beautiful 80s thing. I mean, that song is absolute perfection. Like I said, I will argue a lot of times that it's the greatest pop song ever written. And, and as soon as I hear that bass guitar and those drums kick in, 
like i just i have to close my eyes and just go to a magical place so that the other that song has never ever lost its muster and it, it's so 80s and it so captivates everything from the 80s that like literally when i hear that song it makes me think about every 80s movie that i love it makes me think about weird science some kind of wonderful pretty in pink and i don't even think it was in any of those movies but it just it captures that vibe so well so that's definitely arguably number one on my list uh, another one here a lot of the same things i was just describing about that i would say about uh, the song space age love by the flock of seagulls S same thing it's just the 80s vibe is so strong and so pure and so perfect in that song when, when, I, when I hear it, it's another one of those time out guys. I got to close my eyes and go to a place for a minute here because like this song just takes me there. So a uh, space chase. I mean, I ran a course was a gigantic hit and you arguably could put that in here as well. But uh, yeah, space age love song is one that has never lost its muster for me. So that's definitely on the list. You kind of see a theme of the era that I'm, I'm kind of diving into here. Uh, Joe Jackson, night and day. Um, and, and, you know, once, once again, you're talking about, uh, stepping out. It's just a song that is, is as soon as I hear that opening groove or whatever, it's like, I'm, I'm transported back to 1982, 1983. And, and it just, just takes you for that beautiful ride. Uh, again, one that just, as soon as I hear it, radio, or if I just can't figure out what to play, or this is like one of the the absolute defaults is going right to that song. So that is definitely on this list. And I got two more to go here. Roxy Roxy Music. This is Avalon. And and actually, I mean, I could go with more than this. Like that song is definitely there, but I think Avalon is a little more powerful for me in terms of as soon as I hear it, I have to go for that ride. Um you know, just, I mean, you guys know Roxy, just fantastic, fantastic album, uh, just legendary 80s album. And, and like I said, I really could pick more than this or Avalon off of this album. And last but not least, and <laughs> oh, this is definitely one you can tell by the <laughs> smile and the laugh there, boy. Eddie freaking money, baby. Uh, this is, you know, no control. And it's the song Shaken. I mean, just... Just straight up Eddie Money rocking, boy. I cannot even begin to tell you how much I love this freaking thing. Um, Any time that song comes on, it's just, uh, it's just good, good stuff. And oftentimes, if I if I take if I take a, one of his albums to the shop, I usually take um, the Eddie Money's greatest hits. Um, I take that album and Billy and I love listening to that because one of my absolute favorite songs is Shaken and, and one of his favorite songs is Think I'm in Love. And so every time we play that album, we're always talking about, no, that's the best song. No, that's the best song. Okay, we're having this debate for the 50th time because like neither one of us can get over just how fantastic those two songs are. Uh, but yeah, Shaken by the Money Man, you know, I'll rock that crap any day of the week never ever gets old and they came out what 82 i think so so yeah those are the kind of the ones that i picked you know like, again there's so many out there like you know i had to skip over eyes without a face by billy idol you know tons of van halen stuff that i had to skip over um um yeah i mean just there there's just so much there's absolutely so much but anyway there you go g uh let me know what you think man uh great thread hope you guys enjoy it and uh we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys.